Thank you, Mr. Pandey. Yeah, no. uh, thank you for taking your time out uh, for this interview. Um, I would like to know, just this matter with the Karuni workers, this meeting that you're supposed to have on November the 13th, how did it uh, originate? Um, the, work, the former workers of Kearney, yes. who had received uh, certain promises under a VSEP plan, came to me because the government was not implementing um, the agreement and the promises made in, uh, under the VSEP arrangement. And um, for example, uh, the VSEP arrangement included land, which they ought to receive land both for agricultural purposes and for housing. And uh, many of them have not got that land. So they went to uh, court uh, and the matter was heard by Justice Dial Singh who made a mandatory order that the government must give to the people the land promised to them um, by June 2008. The PNM government obviously re uh, re refused and or neglected um, to comply with the agreement and instead they appealed um, against Justice Yal Singh's judgment. When the partnership government came into office, um, we campaigned for the government to withdraw the appeal and the government eventually did withdraw the appeal which meant then that the judgment of Dial Singh stands. But the government has failed to comply with the mandatory order of Justice Dial Singh and so the people have lost the use of the land uh, since 2008. And um, what they are trying to do is to find out how they can enforce the judgment of Dial Singh and whether they are entitled to compensation for loss of use of the land. Um, it is for that reason that um, we wanted to hold a public meeting uh, because other sugar workers were involved, other charity workers, so we wrote to the Commissioner of Police uh, for permission to hold a public meeting and um, we did that since the 24th October, uh, but we did not receive a, any reply. And uh, we therefore sent him a fax, and we sent that, uh, that fax uh, on the 3rd of November, and we also uh, sent an email on the 3rd of November. We have not received any response from the Commissioner of Police. But why do you think the Commissioner of Police has not responded to you? Um, I do not know. I think only the Commissioner of Police could answer that. It might be incompetence, it might be that he doesn't want to grant permission and, and doesn't want to say so. But only the Commissioner can really answer that question. But shouldn't the, the Commissioner has at least done your letter to see of saying yes at, or no? At least he could, he could, have, could have responded and he might yet respond. I see. Um, how, why do you think the PNM administration, led by Patrick Manning, um, do they fail? To, why do you think they fail to comply with the order? First of all, the the, the Manning administration and the PNM uh, always believed that the uh, the strength of the opposition was in, the, in in central Trinidad, central and south Trinidad, and that Kerry was a base. And the Bukas of Kerry was a, a base of the opposition parties. And um, I think it was an act of vindictiveness. Uh, when they closed down the industry, uh, they thought that that would destroy the base. Of course, it didn't. Um, so they simply have always been vindictive of the, the, the workers in Kerry. Uh, workers in the South, people in Central, who they believe are supporters uh, of the opposition to them. Now, um, the UNC, which is the lead player in this new People's Partnership Administration, um, 
they did not indicate anything in their manifesto by which they intended to deal with, with this scenario. They did not specifically mention in the manifesto um, the plight of the former workers of Kearney. But what they did do on the public platform, right. they made lots of promises that they will deal with them fairly, they will make sure they, they, they get what was their rights on, under the, the VSET plan. However, the, coming into office, they have not set up any administrative structure to deal with the problems of, of, of county workers um, and particularly uh, failure to comply with the terms and conditions of the VSET plan. As a matter of fact, only this morning, workers of the higher echelons um, of, of Kearney, the workers of, of the union which was called ATAS, came to see me because they are suffering the same problems. That is to say, uh, their pension plan is not being implemented, all the stuff that was promised to them uh, have, have not been carried out. Uh, so that it is a problem that we have to deal with. So do you see that as an insult to the former currently workers by the present administration, seeing that <coughs> the UNC is the lead player, again as I said, and the, the core supporters of the UNC consists of largely ex colonial workers and by extension their families. Well, as you see, as you can see, the new government has uh, totally ignored and neglected the base upon which they won the elections. And um, that includes the former workers of Kearney and their families, um, which run into... Almost a hundred thousand persons.